My name is Nagisa. I'm a high school student working hard every day to become more feminine. Oh no! I'm late! I'm late! What am I drinking, you ask? It's protein, of course. I might not look like it, but I'm a part of the judo club. But I don't have time to explain. I'm really late. I was thinking while riding my bike when... Huh? What, what is it? What's going on? Oh crap! I better run! I headed in the direction of the noise. And there was a boy lying on the ground. Hey, are you okay? I'm going to call an ambulance. The ambulance arrived and he was carried away. It seems he was hit by a car. I can't believe it! A hit and run? A few days later, the boy had said he wanted to thank me, so I went to visit him in the hospital. Hello? I'm coming in. I'm glad you're okay. Huh? Oh, you must be the person that saved me. Oh, thank you very much. My name is Kento. Uh, yeah? I was at my arm. They had to cut it off because there was nothing else I could do. I wanted to become a professional baseball player, but now... I couldn't say anything. I couldn't believe that such a small child had his dream shattered in such a way. And apparently, they still haven't found the culprit. How is that even fair? The next day, I went to school, but my head was filled with thoughts about Kento, and I couldn't concentrate in class. <sighs> hmm? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. I just don't have an appetite. You're kidding. You have no appetite? The person who eats three bowls of katsudon for lunch? Uh, wait, you also eat two bowls of oyakodon after that. Something's wrong. Well, actually, I told my best friend Mayako about Kento. Mayako's a big fan of the professional baseball team, Shiants. So much that she's called crazy. If anyone can understand Kento's feelings, it's probably the baseball-loving Miyako. And that's what happened. So, what did you say to Kento after he told you his dream was to become a professional baseball player? I can't say anything. Take me to see him. Huh? Take me to the hospital? Huh, now? Yeah, better strike while the iron's hot. So, we both snuck out of school and went to the hospital. We're so gonna get in trouble. Hello? Excuse me? Oh, it's Nagisa. My name's Miyako. N n n nice to meet you. You say you want to become a professional baseball player? I wanted to. Why are you talking in past tense? Can you see why? Nope. I understand. Huh? What? Now look more closely! See? I don't have a right arm! There's no way I can become a baseball player. Nope, you can. Hey, Mayako! Don't you know Pete Gray or Jim Abbott? Who's that? Look it up. Professional baseball players from America? Oh! What's the matter? Look! Huh? They've only got one arm? Right. Just because you've lost your arm doesn't make it a good reason to give up on your dream. But... If you're willing, then I'll teach you baseball. Huh? It's up to you. Do you want to do it or not? I'll do it. Please, teach me baseball. All right, but I'm warning you, I'm strict. Mayako was amazing. I couldn't say anything to help him, but now Kento's eyes are sparkling with hope. When I spoke to him, his eyes were filled with despair. The way Mayako finds a way to fix things without being strapped down by common sense, I really respect that about her. All right, now it's decided. I'm going to teach you the qualities expected of a Shyance player. Oh, um, I'm a Tigers fan. Huh? Did I hear you wrong? Mayako? <laughs> no problem. I'll make you the strongest Tigers player. The stronger their opponent, the stronger the Shyants become. The Geisa. What's up? Is she okay? No, maybe not. 
Once he was out of the hospital, Kento and Mayako were practicing baseball almost every day. Don't think becoming a baseball player is that easy. One more time. Oh, I'll show you! <laughs> Kento's expression has really changed. What are you slacking off for? Huh? Me? Yeah, if you've got the time to stand around, catch some fungos. Huh? That's right! Nagisa! Like so, I was dragged into practicing baseball, too. I don't even understand why. A lot happened, and a year flew by. One more time! Good! That's the spirit! Yes! Miyako, I swear I'll become a professional baseball player! Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Kento's attitude and speaking has changed so much. He's acting more like a boy his age, and he's gotten better at baseball that even an amateur like me can tell. Apparently, he's the fourth batter and the ace of the local team. He's really doing his best. All right, let's leave it at that for today. Yeah! Finally! Next up is stamina building exercises. Let's run along the riverbank. Yeah, let's do this! Huh? You're still not finished? Of course. And it's not just regular running. Switching between dashes and jogging improves preliminary and cardiovascular function. Huh? That sounds really tough. You're a sports person as well. Let's run together. I'm just a feeble little girl. Megaiza, let's go. Even after one year has passed, they haven't changed at all. Also, I still haven't made a boyfriend. It might be because on the days when I don't have judo club, I'm always hanging out with these two. <sighs> anyway, to intake some proteins, I'm going to eat some chicken. Then, one day, I was running with Miyako and Kento when... Oh, my bag! Give it back! Give it back! <laughs> you stupid old woman! Miyako, look! Right before our eyes, a man on a bike had grabbed an old lady's bag. There are a lot of horrible people in this world, Kento. You catch him, you trained well. You can do it. Mayako, that's a bit impossible. But give me the ball. Here you go. Huh? Oof! Uh, ow! The ball hit the thief in the back, and he dropped the bag. Uh, you little... You better remember that! Kento! Nice! Yup, that's my disciple. Thank you. Thank you so much. That guy's voice. I think I've heard it somewhere. Huh? It's nothing. First things first, I've got to call the police. After a while, a police officer finally arrived. Sorry to make you wait. You were robbed? That must have been horrible. Yes, it was. I promised to catch the guy, so leave it to me. Thank you very much. Oh, and you must be the one that got the bag back from the thief, right? Well done. Uh, yeah. You could probably be a professional baseball player when you grow up, huh? <laughs> a professional baseball player? Officer? Hmm? What's wrong? What do you all mean by professional baseball player? How did you know Kento plays baseball? Uh, his aura! Aura! You have the aura of a baseball player. Huh? I think you can do it. Look, you've got such strong muscles. Ow! Huh? Sorry, sorry. Couldn't hold back my strength. <laughs> All right, ma'am. Can you come with me to the nearest station? I just need to ask a few more questions. Yes. Thanks for your work, kids. You can go home now. Isn't that police officer a bit weird? I think so, too. I don't think there are many people who would look at Kento, who has just one arm, and say he could become a professional baseball player. Even if Kento had both arms, it's a bit weird to think that straight away. Miyako, only you could do that. See you. I've heard this man's voice before. Huh? Kento? Oh, perhaps at a police station? No, I heard it earlier. Huh? Uh, pardon me? Hey, what are you doing? I can arrest you for getting in the way of my work, you know! That bruise on your back! On the officer's back, there clearly was the shape of a ball, and next to it, there was a large birthmark. That means that the officer was the thief. Of course I wouldn't do anything like that. I'm the police! But the bruise on your back, 
and it explains why you knew Kento was playing baseball. Enough! I'll arrest all of you! Mister, I've heard your voice before. Way before. Huh? I know your voice. You're the guy that took my arm! What? What are you talking about? That's impossible! The man that took his arm? Then that means you were the one that ran him over. Of course I would Of course I wouldn't do that! I told you, I'm a police officer! There's no mistake, the birthmark that was next to the bruise! When the culprit ran away, his back was showing, and I saw this mark! I remember it! It's the same birthmark as the culprit! Stop with the accusations! I, I really will arrest you all! It might be a good idea to call another police officer. Wait, there's no need! Huh? The officer took out his gun and pointed it at us! Oh, what a pain. If it comes to this, I've got no choice but to get rid of you. Hey! Get inside that abandoned building! If you make a fuss, I'll shoot! Uh... The four of us were taken into an abandoned building. I was working so hard to make pocket money! Pocket money? Nobody would think that a police officer was stealing people's bags, would they? So I would get changed and go out between patrol shifts. How could you? I remember I hit that kid when I was in the middle of robbing someone. <laughs> How nostalgic. I'll never forgive you! Whoa, you can't say that! That's my line! You hit a police officer with a baseball! Help us, somebody! Shut up, you old hag! Oh. oh, crap, I can hear sirens. I guess somebody saw us. Damn it! It's all your fault! I've got no choice but to make you my hostages. What do we do? At this rate... Hmm? That's unusual. Miyako's really quiet. I guess this is scary, even for her. That's what I thought, but when I looked sideways... Huh? She's got earphones in. She looks pretty serious. No way! Miyako! Hey, hey! Wait, wait, this is the good part. There's no way you're listening to the Cheyenne's game on the radio, right? Do you want to listen too? Right now it's the Cheyenne's chance to take back the game. Miyako, you... Hey, why are you whispering over there? I'm sorry. Miyako's no help. I've got to think of a way out of this situation. Hey, you with the ponytail. Huh? Me? Yeah, you're my hostage. The rest of you, get out. Huh? And tell the police outside to prepare money and a way out of the country. No way! I'm the hostage? I'm the weakest out of everyone here. What do I do? Oh, I don't recommend making Nagisa hostage. Huh? What are you talking about? Anyway, Ponytail, come over here! Y yes Hey, culprit. What? Are you a Shines fan? Huh? Why? You have a sticker of Shabbat on your phone. Yeah, and what about it? The Shines are losing two to three, but they have a chance of taking it back. Let's listen to the radio together and support them. What? Here, I'll lend you one of my earphones. Uh, just for a bit, okay? So, for some reason, the both of them started sharing earphones and started listening to the game. Why did they do that? That's where they should have used a bunt. Yeah, what the hell is the coach thinking? They're getting on surprisingly well. And then... Yes! They did it! They took it back with a full base home run! Yes! The best! Shinosuke, you're the man! They finally did it, right, kid? Yeah, they did! It seems like the Giants won, and the two of them were crying as they high-fived. Huh? High-five? What happened to the gun? Huh? Hey, don't move! Uh... Huh? I'll shoot you! Without our realizing, Kento had somehow taken the gun! Hey! You tricked me! Huh? Uh... Yeah, that's right! Liar! All right, then. Ah! The officer grabbed me in an attempt to use me as a shield. No! Help me! I'm scared! He hasn't cut a gun anymore, so we've got nothing to worry about. Kento, Grandma, let's leave the building. That's true. What about that young girl? Huh? Wait! Why? 
Why are you leaving me behind? Wait for me! Huh? Hey! Wait! Stop! Stop! We all left the building. Help me! Help me! Hey! Let go of that girl! I want to, I want to let go, but she won't let go of me! That's how we got here! What the hell are you talking about? Please, I'm scared. Someone help! To me, Nagisa's scarier. Yeah. Hey, don't stand there saying weird stuff. Help me. Just throw him. Oh, you're right. Huh? Here we go! Ow! Oh! I'm finally free! <laughs> Miyako! It was scary! Ow, ow, ow! Let go, let go! Nagisa! Miyako's gonna break! Stop! Miyako! Tap! I'm tapping out. It's no good, Kento. My parents are calling me from heaven. Miyako! After that, the officer was arrested. He was in debt for gambling and had been robbing people on the side to pay the debt back. On top of that, he hadn't renewed his driving license, so he'd been riding a bike without a license. He really is the worst. He was fired as punishment and put behind bars. The people he owes money to are apparently waiting for his release. It turns out they also love kids, so when they heard about what he had done to Kento, they said that they would show him a living hell. Also, they gave Kento a load of money, saying that it was compensation. Of course, that money will be added to the debt that the officer owes, so I can't imagine what life will be like for him once he's out of prison. After... I'm sorry! I'm really sorry! Don't come any closer, Gorilla! Don't say that! Nagisa, it's your own fault. But I was scared. That day, because I had grabbed onto Miyako, she got a crack in the bone in her right arm. It must be because she's got a calcium deficiency. It can't be entirely my fault. Yeah, enough. Ignore the world's strongest homo sapien. Let's train Kento. Yeah. Hey, wait! Even now, the both of them are training hard. Kento's dream of becoming a professional baseball player really could come true. I want to cheer him on from now on, too. No, Nagisa, you've got to keep social distance. You've got to back off by 50 meters. I don't want the player I've raised to be crushed. I'm not that dangerous. I'm just a weak little girl. 